thought for the day, brothers and sisters, today I was reading in Ezekiel chapter 6, where the Israelites were being judged by God because they made idols, and the mountaintops of Israel, it says, were being judged. Now, a little backdrop in history. Back then, the Israelites, what they would do is they would make shrines, these idols, and place them on top of mountains so everybody could see them. I was thinking today how in my life, I've made idols in my life, often at times when I was very proud, when I felt like I was on the mountaintop of life. There was a movie years ago called The Titanic. It was a fictional movie based on a true story, The Titanic, but there was an actor who was on the top of the uh, deck of the ship, and he says, I'm the king of the world, I'm on top of the world. And the very next day, sadly, the Titanic would be at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The Bible says that in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, that pride goes before fall, a haughty spirit before destruction. There was a man by the name of King Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel. He was saying, I built all these kingdoms. I'm the king of the world. I rule the world. God humbled this man so much that he was like a beast in the field, feeding off the grass like wild animals. And he came to the conclusion of his life when he came to a right state of mind again. It says in Daniel chapter 4 verse 35 that God does as he sees fit and what pleases the Lord. In my own life, I remember when I was younger, over 30 years ago, as a young man, I was in karate, weightlifting. I grew up very insecure. But when I got into weightlifting, I got stronger, I got bigger, got into karate. I was put in a ring with a guy I thought was going to beat me up. I was nervous. When I got in the ring, I knocked this guy out. And what did I do? I got like a, I got like a peacock. I got proud. Look at me. What my karate instructor did was, a few, few weeks later, I remember, many, many years ago, he put me in the ring with an old man, an old Spanish man by the name of Carlos Delgado. And I said to my karate instructor, I'll beat this guy. I could kill this guy. I was so proud. Long story short, that man gave me such a beating and it reminded me of how when we are proud, when we make idols of ourselves or people, other people, fall, the destruction will come soon after that. Psalm 16 verse 4 tells us that. Psalm 135 verse 18 tells us that when we follow after idols, eventually we, we become like that idol. Many people are following rap singers. I remember when I worked in a group home many years ago, for about 12 years, as a crisis counselor, a lot of the young guys there, they were coming in and out of jail. They used to like and idolize rap singers. They wanted to be like them. And sadly, the lifestyle led them to more drugs, more prison life, and sometimes even getting killed in gang-related violence. I worked as a doorman down in Manhattan. Many times, rich people with a lot of money idolized their money, and they came to ruin. Found out when I worked down there that the suicide rate is so high amongst the rich because, as the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 10, that those who love money never have money enough. But we have to examine ourselves, as we're told in 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5, to see if we're in the faith examine ourselves to see what idols we have in our heart. I like to imitate Christ from the heart, of the, in the depths of my heart. I love to follow Christ. Ephesians 5 verse 1 tells us to be imitators of Christ. And Jesus Christ in the Gospel of Luke chapter 7 verse 16, chapter, chapter 18 verse 43, you can read these verses. Whenever he did something great, a miracle, great work that people saw, he wanted glory to go to God. He wanted glory to go to his Father. He didn't want the pat on the back. And that's how we should be. Three times in the Bible, we're told that God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Proverbs 3.34, James chapter 4, verse 6, and 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Today, my friends, whatever idols might be lurking in your heart, and John Calvin, an old-time Puritan preacher, he was born in 1509, he died in 1564. He used to say that the heart of man is an idol factory. We are to flee from idolatry. We are to cast these things away. 
1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 14, and 1 John 5, verse 21, tells us to flee from idolatry. Get away from it. Cast it away from you. Because it's, it's in our hearts. It's our nature to be proud of who we are, what we've done. We want to take that pat on the back. But let us learn from the lesson. I've learned from the lessons in my own life to be humble. Because when we're proud, the fall will come right after that. Learned that in the life of King Nebuchadnezzar. And sadly, the nation of Israel, whenever they were fed by God, the manna from heaven, and they were getting the blessings from God, they started to make idols instead of really serving God more and more. Let this be a warning for us today, brothers and sisters. Feel free to share this devotional video today. God bless you all. If you see it on YouTube, you'll see a subscribe button on the bottom. Feel free to sub subscribe to my YouTube page. All my brothers and sisters who see this on Facebook, thank you for sharing these uh, devotionals to your pages and groups. And as I'm out here in the woods by where I live, you can see we got a little snow again last night. And it looks beautiful. But the ground is slippery. So sometimes in life, even in our Christian walk, it's a beautiful walk. But we have to be careful that we don't slip into the sin of idolatry and the sin of pride. God bless you all this day. Stay strong in the Lord. Put Christ first in your life.